Here's how to estimate construction labor cost. If someone is paid a salary of $45 an hour, the cost of the business for every hour they work is probably more like $61. That's because the cost of the business is made up of their salary plus their on costs. On costs are things like holidays, sick days, annual leave, payroll tax. These are costs we have to incur as a business, but they're not paid out in their salary. To calculate these, I follow a very simple formula. You work out both their, from their base rate and their overtime rate, how much they're paid per week. Then on top of that, we have to work any daily allowances and allowances per hour. So some people like to include things like tooling and consumables or PPE in an allowance per hour, but then we also have daily allowances, which might be travel or meal allowances. That gives us a, our total salary plus allowances for the week. Then to these, we apply our on-costing percentages. So for something like annual leave, where they're getting four weeks of holiday every 52 weeks, that would be an 8% increase on their salary. Public holidays, where they're getting 10 days per year, that might be 4%. You need to work out all these exact percentages for your business, which gives you your total on-costing percent, which is what we mark up their salary by. That's why the $45 an hour goes to $61 an hour. Now, the next thing we need to think about is for every hour they're at work, how much work are they actually getting done? That's referred to as productive versus non-productive time. For every task they do, they'll need to set up, they'll pack up, they'll have pre-start, they'll have lunch breaks and toolbox talk. So really, how many hours do we budget for for a task? Well, it depends how we measure productivity. We can do stopwatch productivity where we measure someone doing a specific task, or we can do weekly productivity. I prefer weekly productivity because I think it gives you a much more accurate representation other people measure using stopwatch productivity. Stopwatch productivity would be measuring how long it takes someone to put up a meter squared of formwork. So it might take them 1.5 hours to do that, which means there's no non-productive time included in that. Weekly productivity is we, where we measure how much a crew get done across a week. For example, five guys did 80 meters squared of formwork, which would mean they did 80 meters squared in 160 man hours, which gives us two man hours per meter squared. That includes non-productive time. Therefore, if you're using the weekly productivity, which is, I think, the better method, then your total hours would just be the meters squared or the quantity for the job multiplied by the productivity. If you're using stopwatch productivity, you have to include a non-productive time loading on that.